Okay, guys, I have to talk very loud. It's very windy, so forgive me. I will try and cover the mic up a little bit. Um, okay, so for the umpteenth thousandth time, I have redone my setup. I have come to the conclusion that I'm going to have to get a car top carrier. Yeah, that's just the way it's going to have to be while I'm in this minivan. There's just never enough room in this minivan. So I just tweaked it a little bit again um, from video number 39. This is still another tweak. So what I did was I got rid of, I went ahead and got rid of the cabinets. And the reason I did that, I'm going to get inside the minivan a little bit. The reason I did that is that the friend I'm staying with, there's a few items there that I want to have with me. And the cabinets, um, they're heavy, they're bulky. Um, I don't know. I'm not a bin person. I don't like bins. I, I had these bins because I've had them forever. But I feel like at this point in my uh, van dwelling life, I'm going to have to use bins as much as I hate it. So, this is an empty bin. This will have, this will this is where I'll put the stuff um, that's at my friend's house now. This bin, I left the top off because this will house the food that was in the... Um, the wood cabinet that was here. So that one I left open. I can always put the top on it. I left the top there. This bin just has a few um, miscellaneous food items, but as you can see, it's very few items in there. You can't even, it's not even halfway full. It has plenty of room. I left this unit where it was. I took the three orange baskets like this off of I drew that I had drilled into the plastic I took those off and put this three bin container that I've had forever in there so my tank top socks and underwear are there I did let me get in I did take two of those orange baskets and drill them into the top of this so they would just house some miscellaneous stuff this one's empty this is just a grocery bag that I use when I go grocery shopping uh, the clothing tower is the same I had toyed with the idea of putting the clothes in a bin here, but I know that's going to frustrate the heck out of me. I've tried it before, and I hated it. So, the clothing tower is still here. The biggest change is um, the under the bed, and as you can see, my piece of plywood is not long enough. Uh, I had a longer one at one point, but I got rid of it. I had this piece and a longer piece that was the extra cut off or something. I don't know what happened. So, but it sits on top of this bin. Okay. As you can see, there's a little overhang there. And it sits on top of a bin that's the same as that one back here. This was the other big change. The back. Okay. So, I've had this shoe organizer thing. It's meant to go, I don't know if you can see, I drilled it in. It's meant to go on a closet, on a rod like this. It's meant to hang over and hang down for you to put the shoes in the slots. But I drilled it in to this, and then I put a couple of drills sporadically in the bottom, and then drilled it in here as well. It's for miscellaneous small items. I have that small crate, that black crate that I've had before with my car stuff in it windshield wiper fluid um, WD-40 and I think this is power steering fluid which I bought and didn't need but who knows you might need it one day so this bin matches the bin on the other end and again it does not my wood doesn't come all the way toying with the idea of getting two by fours and making four legs and making them a half an inch taller making the wood a half an inch taller so I can slide the bins in and out without um, lifting the wood because it's pretty heavy this futon mattress is heavier than it looks so to have to lift this up and the piece of plywood is kind of annoying so this um, bin this bin has everything if you remember in the previous video that was in the white shelf that had all the um, tools and miscellaneous um, hand saw and all that miscellaneous stuff that is now in this bin so let me move the tool bag so that's now all in this bin and then the tool bag just sits on top and I laid on this and um, wiggled around a little bit although I don't really move around much in my sleep I tend to sleep on one side and that's it but I laid on it I wiggled around it's fine it's sturdy I'm not that heavy I'm about 140 right now I think something like that but I, am, I do think um, this week when I get paid, today's Monday, I get paid on Thursday, I do think I'm going to get some 2 by 4s I'm going to measure this bin, and I'm going to do it a half an inch taller and get four 2 by 4s uh, or maybe six, 
put two in the middle too. So one, two. So it'll be one leg, two leg, three, four, and then up in the front, five, six legs. Just a half an inch taller so these bins can slide in and out. Um, the two end bins can slide better in and out. So the miscellaneous um, toiletries that I had in that mesh pocket thing, this thing, I now just put in the other third orange thing. This is still my file box in the back. That's another bin. Um, camp chill still here. A battery operated fan. Um, fire extinguisher. This is toilet paper. And then all of these are empty for some random stuff if I have stuff. I did put this in there. This is my, um, remember my bag that I keep my workout slash pajama clothes in? I was going to take them out of the bag, but I'm not decided yet if I'm going to do that. So that's why they're still in the bag. This is just my bungee cords so that'll just live down there on top of the miscellaneous toiletries so what I did here was I took the middle drawer out because I can't open the bottom drawer because of this being here so I took the middle drawer out so I could put something in there and I'm thinking I'm gonna measure this and I'm gonna try and find a camp stove that'll fit right in there and so that'll probably live there something Anyway, there's room to grow anyway. So I have decided I'm going to throw these out. I was going to try and keep them, but I just don't have room in storage for them. And I'm trying to completely get rid of my storage. I feel like if I, if I get a car top carrier, one of those car top, hard car top carriers, I'm hoping to find one at a thrift shop or a yard sale since the weather's nice, it's spring and summer's coming soon someone's probably getting rid of one and once I do that I think I should be able to completely get rid of my storage and I'm gonna try my best to find someone who can house my two seats for me if I wrap them up in in a tarp and put them on their um in their garage or in their shed or something like that and so hopefully I can get rid of my storage completely if I get the car top for the miscellaneous stuff that I do need to hang on to for winter so that's it that's my updated little setup um, I am going to get some not zip ties but mm, what do I want to say I'm gonna get I forgot what these things are called these Whatever these things are called. I'm going to get some small ones. They come in a smaller size. And I'm going to put that on these. Because I don't like the bungees. I'll have to use bungees for now. Um, for the next day or two. But I just I hate bungee cords on drawers. I just I just dislike it with a passion. So I'm going to get one of um, some of those small little... I forgot what they're called. But anyway. I'm going to get three of those to put on these. So when I um, hit the brakes they don't slide forward. Because they probably will do that when you hit the brakes. So anyway... Um, kept the futon mattress even though I'm really 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 using up a lot of space with it but it's comfortable and it is too big to put in the storage the storage is just too, too full maybe once I empty it out and, and downsize to the smaller one maybe I don't know I, uh, I gotta put the sheet back on it but I took it off so I could wash it so anyway that's the setup I'm not moving anymore. I'm not doing anymore because my legs hurt, my feet hurt, my knee hurts that I had surgery on, and the other one that I didn't have surgery on. So I'm done for now. Then I have to live with this, like it or lump it. Oh, one other thing. I decided to go back to a soft laundry um, bag. Remember I had that big plastic bin that I really loved for a laundry hamper? And I will keep that because when I get into a bigger van, a cargo van or, or an Astro, I will use that as the laundry hamper. But for now, with me not having a lot of space, I'm just going back to the mesh bag, I mean the um, cotton bag that I had before. And so when, the, when it's full, it'll just live on top of the bed when I'm driving or down here on the floor while I'm driving. So I'm just going to do something like that. This is the best I can do with this minivan. I had toyed with the idea of taking the plastic off. But the more I thought about it and the more people I confer, um, um, confirmed with and talked with in my Facebook group and a couple other Facebook van dwelling groups, it doesn't make sense to do that. It's just, oh my gosh, I tried pulling it off. I don't want to pull it off. It's just a pain in the butt. It's more than I can take on by myself. If I find someone who's willing to help me, then yes, I will do that. But right now, I'm not going to do it. So now I'm going to throw, take these to the dump, the two cabinets. 
I was going to put them on Craigslist, but I have nowhere to put them until they, until they sell or get picked up or whatever. I was going to give them away for free, but I'm just going to put them out by next to the trash dumpster and someone will probably take them. All right, guys, happy Easter Monday and have a great week.